Kia ora. My name is Matthew Barrett, and I am an archaeologist and doctoral researcher at the University of Auckland. And I'm going to talk to you briefly about some modern technologies that archaeologists use to help them investigate the past. The first one is called LIDAR, which stands for Light Detection and Ranging. So LIDAR creates a 3D elevation model of the land by shooting lasers down at the land surface and then recording how long they take to bounce back. And this gives us an indicator of the underlying terrain. So the cool thing about LIDAR is how it lets us rediscover known archaeological sites or identify new ones in often difficult terrain. It even allows us to see the ground surface beneath trees and vegetation cover. So for example, check out this past site that is now visible beneath the forest. Another example is from Mongakiki or One Tree Hill. First, we have the aerial photography here, then the LIDAR elevation model over the top. And if we process this a little bit further, we start to see the land surface in a lot more detail. So can you now see some pits and terraces on One Tree Hill? Well, these are all archeological features. Another cool technology that we use is called machine learning. So this is where we train a computer to do a particular task for us. And over time, the computer gets better at that task by learning from its past experience. So in archeology, span we can combine machine learning with things like LIDAR to help us identify potential archeological features faster, more accurately, and over much greater areas. So it works by giving the computer training data, such as a set of known features. It then uses patterns in those data to make some predictions about what different features should look like. Then it applies those predictions to something like LiDAR imagery to help us identify similar features that we might otherwise have missed. And the more training data, the better that the computer learns. So here's an example from a large part of the landscape in Northland. The yellow circles are known archeological sites that the computer recognized and the black squares represent new possible sites that the computer predicted. Now, not all of these will be real archeological sites, but that's still a lot of evidence of Aotearoa's past that's out there. The last technology I want to talk to you about is computer simulation. Now, computer simulation is really useful for archeologists since we can't see the past in action. So what we can do with the simulation is experiment with some ideas about what might have happened in the past, and we can then explore those results. So you can think of simulation like a video game where you control a virtual character who performs a set of actions in a virtual environment. Archaeologists can decide what those actions are and what that environment is like. These actions then produce a virtual archaeological record, which we can dig up and compare with real archaeological patterns to see if the behaviors in the simulation could possibly be responsible for producing the archaeology that we see in the real world. So simulations can come in all shapes and sizes. Here's a super abstract one where the dots represent sites. To something a little more realistic, where we have a person moving around a landscape, in this case, dropping digital stone artifacts, which we can then excavate later on. And then also a simulation that's much more realistic. In this case, using a real world map as its environment to test some ideas about population dispersals.